Today I am on a mission. I am on a mission to empty my toilet, empty my grey waste and get some fresh drinking water. I'll tell you what, it's not easy around Dublin. Hey, I'm Kat. I live full time in my motorhome with my dog Mac and we're currently touring and exploring Ireland. However, today we've got our first challenge. How do we get rid of the waste from our van hygienically where everything is shut? Just look at that. It's spectacular. It's absolutely spectacular. I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Thank you. Good. Uh, you yes, please, if I may. Uh, Do you take cards? Yep. That's good. Okay. Thank you very much. Take care. Oh, handbrake. That helps. <laughs> What have you done? That is a guilty look. What have you done? This bowl of food was full when I went to change the gas over just now. Big waterfall. It's a really big waterfall. Today I am on a mission, I am on a mission to empty my toilet, empty my grey waste and get some fresh drinking water. I'll tell you what, it's not easy around Dublin and the Wicklow Mountains. It is not easy at all. There are several campsites, most of which are currently not open, but it's still before St Patrick's Day. So there are a handful, if that, in around the entire area that are open at the moment. Two that I phoned said that they are fully booked for the Patrick's Day. The other two wouldn't answer their phone. Uh, and I eventually got to one that was really near the centre of Dublin, or really near the city, I should say. And he was like, no, it's fully booked. And I was like, well, I just want to empty my waist and get fresh drinking water. Oh no, you can't do that. We can't allow it for insurance. Rubbish. It just, ah, oh, makes me angry. And I'll tell you what, Ireland, if anybody from the council or anyone is watching this, you are going to end up in so much trouble. Because by not providing toilets where motorhomers and camper vanners can empty their waste hygienically, all they're going to do is dump it behind a bush. And it's disgusting. And it's gross. And please don't do that. But when the camps are all shut and the ones that are open won't allow you to use their facilities, and then they say they're full and you can't stay there anyway, what the heck do you think people are going to do? As it was, I spoke very nicely to a gentleman and he has told me off the books that I am allowed to go to his campsite and I promise not to share which one it is in case he gets into trouble for insurance reasons. I'll try not to roll my eyes too hard because he is going to help me out. But that's not, that's not okay. That's not okay. Gah! I'm going to make it my new mission, I think, to open an air in Dublin that just allows motorhomers to empty their waste. If anybody wants to help me buy a bit of land in this area, we'll just turn it into an air where decent, nice people who don't want to pollute this stunning countryside with their waste can come and hygienically empty their toilet and get for a drink of water. Let me know! We'll set up a business together. I'm, I'm a bit on my soapbox, madam. Can you tell? So, I'm going to enjoy the drive, maybe put on some angry girl music. And um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully I will get to empty my toilet and uh, fill up some fresh water. That one is totally empty and that one is really close to being empty. I think it broke.
broke the LPG pump. In fairness to me, I didn't do anything. I didn't touch it. They came and helped me do it. But it's not working and they're a bit annoyed. Oops. I'm just going to sort of sit here and hope that it magically fixes it. Because I've got an LPG. Still nothing. I might be living here now. It's been about half an hour. Yeah, they're both filling. The bolt filling, yeah? yeah. Woohoo! We've got gas! I have to say, I am quite elated at that because I did not think we were going to get gas. And as I had forgotten, that Ireland have a different adapter and I don't know where the LPG adapter is. Um, I didn't want to go anywhere else because these guys had an adapter that they were happy for me to use. So now we've got water and we've emptied our toilet, which was really important. And we've got gas, so I've got heating and I've emptied my grey waste. So we are all good for about the next six days, I reckon. Although JD's with me. So yeah, no, it might be a lot less than six days. Um, but if I can get through the next weekend without really needing a campsite, I will take that as a win, I think. Right, onwards, now we've got food. Need food. I did the responsible adult thing of shopping and stocking up with food. But then, as it's St Patrick's Day, I arranged to meet my friends at Ireland's highest pub, Johnny Fox's. First, I had a quick walk to a local grave. I went daffodil picking with my friends for a local charity on St Patrick's Day and ended the night with some traditional music. <laughs> Next time, my daughter Jade visits me for Mother's Day weekend. We kiss the Blarney Stone, have an amazing hike up a waterfall, and find a road that makes you go backwards when you're facing forwards. Is it the fairies? If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see the next one, feel free to subscribe. And thank you, as always, for your time. See you on the next video.